Hi, my name is Stephanie from Thrive Themes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a webinar funnel straight from your WordPress website without the need for any expensive webinar software. All you need for this funnel is Thrive Landing Pages and Content Builder, a YouTube account, and an email service provider. This is what your funnel will look like. We'll start with a registration page to collect your visitors' details. It will then redirect them to a thank you page. Your follow-up emails will send them the links to the live broadcast page and the replay page. On the live broadcast page, you'll be using YouTube Live to stream a video straight from your WordPress site. To get started, you just need to open your WordPress dashboard. Once you're in your WordPress dashboard, you just need to navigate to the Pages menu and add new page. From here, we'll create the registration page, which will be the parent page for the rest of your funnel. We're going to name the registration page after your webinar title. And just hit publish. Now we're just going to create all of the pages in the funnel at once, so we've got all the URLs at hand for future steps. So I'm just going to select Add New to add the next page in the funnel. This one will be our thank you page. And just on the right here, we're going to select the parent page as the Thrive webinar. Click Publish. And as you'll see, the URL for your webinar is now your domain the webinar title and the thank you page. This will be the same for the next steps in the funnel. So just add a new page again and create the broadcast page. Select the parent and publish. Again, add new. This is the final page, which will be the replay room. Select the parent page again, which will be the Thrive webinar, and publish. As you'll see, the URL won't change until you click publish, and then the webinar title will be in the middle. So we'll navigate back to all pages and start working on the registration page. So you just need to hover over the webinar registration page and click edit with Thrive Content Builder. Now to add the webinar registration template, I'm going to go up to the right here, click on the Thrive Landing Pages menu and choose Landing Page. On the left, you'll see you can filter by tag. So I'm going to tick the webinar filter and this will come up with all of the webinar based templates that we have. For this webinar funnel, I'm going to choose Vibrant just because it has a live streaming page. So I will select the Vibrant webinar registration just by clicking on it and load landing page. As you can see, this has now loaded the webinar registration page template. You can change any of the elements in here, change any of the text. It's just a drag and drop editor. Uh, if you do have more than one guest, you can easily add a guest and change the picture. But I'm not going to focus on formatting too much in this video. I'm more going to focus on the funnel steps that will create the entire webinar funnel for you. Shane has done a video which shows you how to format a webinar registration page, which I'll link below this video. So once you've customized all the elements in your page, I'll just show you what the page will look like. So what we need to focus on in terms of the funnel steps is connecting this button to your email service provider. This will allow you to email your registrants the details for the live broadcast page. So I'm just going to go back into the editor now and you just click on the button and select Event Manager. As you can see, there's already a light box in here and that's what you saw when I clicked in the preview on that button. To change anything in this light box, you just need to select Edit This Light Box and it will open a second drag and drop editor. To connect to your email service provider, you just need to click anywhere in this box and select connect with service. Create a new connection, API, and choose which email service provider you would like to go with. For this example, we're using MailChimp and we have a webinar mailing list. 
You can also choose which group you want to put them in. For the webinar, I would just recommend choosing a single opt-in. And save. Now in this window, you can customize the fields that your visitor will fill out in order to register. I'm going to get their first name. I'll make it a required field. And as you can see, the email is already a required field and validation is set to check that it is an email address that they enter. Now after sign up, we want to redirect them to the thank you page. So I'll select redirect to URL. And I can just save that. As you can see, it's reverted back to horizontal. So I just need to click vertical and reset it. So just exit out of this menu, save changes. You can just exit this window and also exit the event manager. Now you'll see down the bottom, there's also another button, but it will automatically update to go to the same light box that you've just set up when they click this bottom button too. So save your page and we'll go back to start setting up the thank you page. So we have our registration page. We need to create the thank you page for them to be redirected to. So I'll just navigate back to my pages menu and edit the thank you page in Thrive Content Builder. Again, just go up to the Thrive Landing Pages menu and choose landing page. Now, as you'll see, if I click on the webinar tag again, you don't see a thank you page in here. Vibrant does have some thank you page templates, but they're not webinar specific. So I'll untick this webinar tag and search for the Vibrant templates. As you can see, there are more Vibrant templates now, and I will probably use the download page. So I just select that and load landing page. From here, I'm just going to remove the download text by clicking the cross here and also the icon. I'll remove this button and replace it with a countdown timer to the webinar. So just select countdown timer and drag the element in. I'm just going to center this one and you might want to add some text just saying that they have been registered and they will receive email follow-ups. Again, I'm not going to go too much into the formatting of this page, just save changes and you can exit out of this window. As you can see, we've now got the registration page and the thank you page. Through your email service provider, you then email a link to the live broadcast page, which we'll create now. For the live broadcast, you will have to create a live streaming event through YouTube. I'll take you through the steps of that now. From your creator studio, which you can get to by clicking the small icon on the right, navigate down to live streaming. Now something to note is in order to do live streaming on YouTube, you do need to have a verified account and to have enabled live streaming. I'll link to tutorials on how to do that below this video. Due to some recent changes with YouTube's live streaming, you may also need an AdSense account. I'll link to how to set that up in the comments below as well. So just navigate to events under the live streaming menu and schedule a new event. Add the title of your webinar and the date. And just be wary of the time zone here. It's probably easiest just to convert your webinar into GMT time plus zero. Add a description and create event. As you can see, you've now got a YouTube event scheduled in your system. Just quickly edit this event, go into advanced settings and enable embedding. This is very important. If you don't tick this option, once live streaming begins, it will not stream through to your site. So make sure that you remember to tick allow embedding. And save changes and just head back to the events menu. From here, if you go into the event, just by clicking on the title, you can grab the URL. As you'll see, there is a countdown timer leading up to your event and we'll start editing the broadcast page. 
from here, you just need to select the live broadcast template. So again, Thrive Landing Pages, choose Landing Page, select the webinar tag, and the vibrant live streaming page. And this is where your live YouTube video will be streaming. So just click on this responsive video element and paste in the URL that you got from your live event in YouTube. From here, you can customize how you want the video to show. So I'm going to auto hide the logo, auto hide player controls, hide the video title bar, and very importantly, you need to tick auto play. If you don't tick auto play, the video will not start automatically when live streaming begins. So exit out of this menu. I'm just going to add a comment box below this video so viewers can ask questions during the webinar. So just select comments and Facebook. Now this allows viewers to comment with their Facebook profiles. I'll just save changes and preview this so you know what it looks like. And as you can see, you have the countdown timer and the ability to comment. Once the live streaming begins, your video will start automatically. As you can see, we're almost done with the funnel. Now we just need to create a replay page for anyone that missed the webinar. So just navigate back into your WordPress pages, select the replay room, Thrive Landing Pages, choose Landing Page, select the webinar tag again, and Webinar Replay. Load Landing Page. We're going to embed the replay. So just click on this responsive video element and copy the same URL as the live streaming URL. Again, I'm going to select auto hide the logo, auto play, and hide any of the player controls. Exit out of this menu. You also have the ability to add a button to a special offer and any other element that you would like. So I'm going to save this page and exit out. And just a quick note, when it is time for your webinar, you just need to navigate back to this live streaming menu, events, and start Hangouts on air. So now we have our entire webinar funnel. Your visitors will go to the registration page, which will then take their details and send them to the thank you page. With your email service provider, you can send out a link to the live broadcast page before the webinar and also to the replay page after the webinar. If you have any questions on setting up your webinar funnel, please leave a comment below this video.